Forced entry break-ins are all too common, leaving homeowners with a huge mess and wondering how to prevent it from happening again. Meet EverStrike, a simple solution to repair your damaged door jam, increase your home's safety, and give you peace of mind. It can be installed by a professional contractor or experienced do-it-yourselfer. Start the process by removing the exterior brick mold that's attached to the broken door jam. Score any caulk with a utility knife to make removal easier. Though our brick mold in this example was already damaged, try not to damage the brick mold because it will be reinstalled later. Next, remove any nails and other debris from where the brick mold was installed. Then, remove the weather strip from the broken jam and header and set it aside. We will reinstall the weather strip later. Using a circular saw and wearing proper safety gear, carefully cut the damaged jam in half for easier removal. The location between the deadbolt and lock set holes is a good place to cut. Be sure to set the saw to the correct depth to avoid cutting anything other than the broken door jam. Pry the bottom half of the jam inward rocking it back and forth to locate and remove any screws or nails, securing it to the stud frame. Do the same for the upper half of the jam, ensuring it is free from nails and other debris. Now let's get the EverStrike Security Replacement Jam ready for installation. Unpack the EverStrike and locate the box of hardware that is included with the kit. This kit contains the security plates and screws, Set it aside for now. Temporarily remove the weather strip by pulling it from the groove. We'll replace it later. Now, measure the overall length of the jam location and determine the correct door handing. Mark that measurement on the back of the jam leg using a square to be sure that your line and your cut will be straight. Remember, you're cutting off the top of the jam leg. Use a circular saw to set the correct depth and trim the top of the jam at the mark you made. Using measurements obtained from the old door jam, mark the exact locations for the deadbolt and lock set holes on the back of the new jam. Make sure to double check everything to ensure that your existing deadbolt and lock sets will line up perfectly. Drilling the holes using a one inch spade bit or paddle bit will get the job done. Next, we will use the strike plates you plan to use on your new jam. Place them on the corresponding holes and trace around them with a pencil or pen. Be sure to trace around both the lock set strike plate and the deadbolt strike plate. You'll need a sharp wood chisel to create the mortises for the strike plates so they sit flush with the surface of the jam. Once your mortises are created, attach the strike plates to the jam. Now it's time to install the Security Strike hardware. Begin by placing the metal mounting bar in the groove next to the strike plate holes. Next, align the security strike plates so they fit into the mounting bar and the drilled holes. Attach the bar to the jam using the screws included with the kit. Every hole in the bar will need a screw. Once the EverStrike hardware is in place, it's time to install the new jam. Slide the jam leg into place so that it is flush with the front of the header and the sill plate at the bottom. Tap wood shims between the jam and framing where necessary so that it sits flush and plumb. Drill pilot holes behind where the weather strip will be reinstalled and then install screws into the pilot holes through the jam and into the stud framing. Now install the weather strip into your jam and the header. Score the shims with a utility knife and remove the exposed excess by tapping them with a hammer. Test close the door and be sure lock set and deadbolt work correctly. Make any necessary adjustments and don't forget to reinstall your brick mold. And then you're done.